Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building the CSX GP15 locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. And it's rather small for a freight locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual we're going to start with the rear coupler so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block down in the bottom middle, we're going to put three polished black stone brick blocks on the center. Then an upside down black stone brick stair on either side. Then five black stone brick blocks across this top. Then in front of it in the center, we'll do a three block tall T shape and hang a lantern above each side on the second layer. In front of that, a five by three of polished black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're going to put three oak slabs coming up this gap for the stairs and three on this side. Then on this top middle back here we're going to put three black stone brick slabs. Then we're going to come down here and open a dark oak fence gate above each rail on the bottom down here. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here and two on this side. Up here on these slabs we're going to put a glow item frame on either side and a fence gate in the middle. Then in front of this on the bottom we're going to put a fence gate on each rail. Then in the center in front of that two deep slate brick walls, a fence gate, a second fence gate, and two more walls. Then take out netherite for the wheels, put one here, one here, and same thing on this side. Then we're going to put a fence gate on the end of either of these two wheels. Then on each side on these gaps between the wheels here, we need to get four sideways lightning rods on each side. Then we're going to come through and put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on each of the four hoppers. Then we're going to come up top with black stone brick block on the top middle of the second layer. And we're going to come right up the center. And we're going to come one block past these fence gates. Then on the side of it, a full row of fence gates up here. And same thing on this side, a full row of fence gates over here. Then we're going to come on the next block down in front of this. And put three wide on the bottom middle of black stone brick block. And make that eight blocks long. So a three by eight. On the side of it, we're going to put eight upside down black stone brick stairs. And same thing on this side here. Then we'll come up on the top. And we're going to fill the top middle three up here with black stone brick blocks. And bring it forward to the front of this fuel tank. Then we're going to come in front of this. And we're going to skip one block forward from it. And get a fence gate on each rail. So there's a one block gap of space here. Then in front of this in the center, two deep slate brick walls, two fence gates, and two walls. Then take out another right for the wheels, one here, one here. Same thing on this side, one here, one here. Then put a fence gate on the ends of these two wheels, and same as before, we'll put four lightning rods across the gap between the wheels here. Then same thing on this side, four lightning rods here. Then we're going to put a hopper on the side of all four of these front wheels. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of these hoppers. Then we'll come up top with polished black stone brick block again. And we'll run a line up the center up here until we're aligned with these red skates. Then on this side here we're going to put one block in this corner hang a bell on it and then put a row of fence gates here and then a full row of fence gates on this side right here. Now we're going to come on the front of this fuel tank put a skeleton skull here and here. Then behind it we're going to put a mangrove sign here and a mangrove button above it. 
do the same thing on this side, a sign and a button. Then we're going to come to the back of the fuel tank and put two strings down in this corner on bottom. And same thing on this side, two strings. Then we'll start here and do a row of sideways anvils until it's sticking out over that string. And then same thing on this side here. Just like that. Now we're going to come up in the very front here, in front of this. We're going to put a 5x3 of polished black stone brick blocks coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the center and a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that on the bottom middle, three black stone brick stairs and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, we're going to do a block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three black stone brick slabs on this top middle, then three oak slabs coming up this side for stairs and three oak slabs on this side. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around, stack it up to the middle second block. Under it, a fence gate, then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here, two here, and up on these slabs we're going to put a glow item frame on either side and a fence gate in the center here. Now we're going to come in the middle, in the gap between the wheels on the side here, with polished deep slate stairs. And we're going to put two stairs facing into each other on the center. Then on the upper hitbox of either side of it, a polished deep slate slab here and here. And then four dark oak trap doors across here. Then we'll repeat it for the back wheels. So two stairs facing into each other in the center. A slab on either side. And then four trap doors. And then of course we're going to do it on the opposite side. So same thing here. Then one more corner to go. Same thing up here. Two stairs facing into each other. A slab on either side. And four trap doors on the top. Then we're going to stand on the top of this and crouch and put a single polished deep slate slab on all four of these hoppers and we'll do the same thing at the back put a slab on all four of these hoppers then we're going to come out here and we're going to put two fence gates on the middle of this and a skeleton skull above each wheel same thing here two fence gates in the center skeleton skull above each wheel and then of course we'll repeat it on this side do the same thing back here. Then we'll come stand on the top of this and crouch again. And we're going to put a lightning rod here and here. Then one here and one here. Then we'll do the same thing up here. So a lightning rod here and here. One here and one here. Then on this top layer, we're going to go three wide up here with black stone brick blocks on the center and we're going to bring that all the way down to the other end so just come right across the top with it then once we've done that we're going to take yellow concrete on the back end here on this third layer and we're going to start in the back corner and we're going to bring yellow concrete over till it's above this wheel and do the same thing on this side aligned with it then we'll come to the front of the locomotive same thing bring yellow concrete over till it's above this wheel and same thing on this side and actually I think we're going to add one more yellow concrete on each side right here then it raises up right here, so we're going to fill the rest of this gap on the upper hitbox with oak slabs on either side. Then we're going to come on top of the front here, and we're going to need black wool. We're going to come on this third row back and change this one and this one to black wool. Then we're going to come to the rear end up here. And we're going to change this one and this one to black wool. Then also this one right here. 
And now the base is done and we can come back up to the front. Now we're going to come on top of the front on this third block in in the center, do yellow concrete, blue, and yellow. Then three yellow stained glass panes on either side of it. Then we'll swing back here, over here, one block in from the outer edge. We'll do two columns of three blue concrete and actually a third column of three right here. Then we'll put three blue concrete here, two on either end, one in this middle here, and one on the top. Then two blue concrete and a black wool up here. Then we need to grab a brewing stand, and we're going to put a brewing stand in that hole. Then two blue shulker boxes here, two here. Then four more blue shulker box coming back on either side. Then on this side, we're going to put a blue concrete at the back. Then start on the back of this side here. We're going to put five blue concrete coming forward right here. On this side, we're going to start right here and do blue concrete to the back of this. Then up here, blue concrete, two yellow, then a warp door, turn this way, and a door facing forward. Come over here at the front, do a blue concrete, then two yellow, a warp door here, then turn this way, and a door facing backwards. Then two black stained glass panes, and a blue concrete here. Then over here, a blue concrete at the back, and two black stained glass panes in the middle. Put a temporary block here, open a trap door on it, take out the block. Come out the front of this trap door and put a blue banner over it. Then we'll come down here and crouch, and we're going to put two blue banners over this door to hide it from the side view. And then we'll do the same thing over here, so come over here and crouch, and put two blue banners over this door to hide this one from the side view here. Now on this top outside edge up here, we're going to put four smooth court stairs. Then come to this side and same thing, four stairs up here. Then three blue concrete across this top middle, one in the center and a blue stained glass paint on either side. Then we'll fill the rest of this roof up here with smooth quartz blocks. Now we're gonna come to the rear end where this black wool is and we're gonna put a pattern of three blue concrete like this then three yellow above it. Above that, yellow on each side, blue in the middle and then two more layers of yellow so it's five blocks tall. Then we're going to put a blue stained glass pane in each of these bottom corners. Then we need to grab yellow stained glass panes and put four yellow stained glass panes on each of these corners here. And then we'll come back up in front here. Now come behind the cab and we're going to put a column of five blue concrete on either side like this and one on the top middle. Then behind it on each side a three by four of blue concrete coming back like this. And on top of each side, three polish basalt. On top of that, a three by three of warp slabs. Then come on this side of it. Down in this corner, we're going to put two prismarine walls. Then three warp slabs on bottom. And above that, a three by three of blue stained glass panes for the blower. Then we'll come back down to the rear end here. And in front of this, one block in on either side, we're going to do blue concrete. And we're going to do six blue concrete coming forward here. Six on this side. Then we're going to take out netherite blocks. And we're going to fill this bottom middle with netherite. Then we'll come three high right here. Then across the top to the front of this. And a column of three in the middle in front of it here. Then we'll take polished deep slate slabs under here. And we're going to put two slabs here two here. Then we're going to come in and grab dark oak fed skates here and a row of fed skates across this bottom middle. Then we need to get iron bars and on top of this blue concrete we're going to do two rows of six iron bars on the side here. And then the same thing on this side, two rows of six iron bars on this side. Then in front of it, a column of blue concrete on either side. Then come across here with blue concrete. And then come across here with blue concrete as well. Then a line of blue concrete up this top center to the front of it. And on this top outside edge here, 
a row of sideways blue shulker boxes, and then same thing on this side. Then we're going to take out deep slate tile slabs, and we're going to come across the top to where this yellow concrete is, and we're just going to fill in up here three wide with deep slate tile slabs up here. Just like that. Now come in front of this and we're going to fill this side in four blocks tall with blue concrete and bring that up to the front. Then same thing on this side, four blocks tall with blue concrete until this side's all filled in. Then on the top center line of blue concrete up the middle. And then in these corners, a full row of sideways facing shulker boxes on either side. Then we're going to come up here and put a flower pot here and here for the exhaust. Then right here, a fence gate and open one in front of it for the horn. Then come up on the cab, two quart slabs on either side like this. Then we need to come in and grab a birch button, put a birch button here and here. Then on top of this nose, we're going to cover this with black carpet. Then we'll come up here, white carpet on the top of the cab section, anywhere we haven't built something, three blue carpet here. Then we'll come up here and crouch, and basically anywhere we haven't built something, we're going to cover this top with blue carpet. Coming down and around everything here. And then one blue carpet on this very back middle here. Now come down behind the cab on this side and put two ladders right here. Then behind that, we're going to put black carpet, and we're going to bring black carpet all the way down this walkway. Then back here, an L shape of black carpet here. Then start right here, and we're going to bring black carpet one block before the end of this yellow concrete. And it sticks up on this side, so right here, a row of warp slabs. Then come up here, crouch, get a black carpet on this shulker box. Then two here, a T shape on the front, two here, and two on these shulker boxes. Then come on the side and put two oak buttons here and here. Same thing over here, two oak buttons. Then take out oak fence, and we'll do our railings. Right here, we're going to come up four. Then right here, we're going to come up by three and over one, and a two by two right here. Same thing on this side, up three, over one, two by two right here, and up four right here. Then we need to grab a chain, and we're going to put a chain across this gap. Then go to warp fence right here. We're going to come back one, up one, and back three. Then come to this side. We're going to come back one, up one, over one, up one, over one. Now we're going to come to the rear end and switch back to oak fence. Right here, come up by four. Here, we'll come up three, over one and a two by two right here. Same thing on this side, up four right here, up three right here, over one, and a two by two right here. Then a chain across this gap, then switch to warp fence, connect it up right here, and start bringing it forward up this walkway. When we get right here, we're gonna come up two and over one. Then we'll do the other side, so come to the back down here, connect your warp fence up right here, and we'll start bringing it forward. And then when we get where these walls are, we add one on the top here. So it looks like that. Now we're gonna make some banners, so come into a loom with a blue banner and yellow die. Put a vertical on the left, a horizontal on the top and bottom. New banner. Horizontal on top and bottom. Diagonal. New banner. Diagonal. And the other diagonal. Then go to blue die and put a blue border around all three of these. 
and then we'll come and place these ones. So we're going to come up on the side under these shulker boxes and we're going to start right here and put CSX. And then of course we're going to do the same thing on this side. Start here and put CSX. Then we can clear off those three banners and we have more to make here. So come back into a loom, blue banner, yellow die. We're going to put a yellow border on it and then make the right half blue. Then we'll do a new one with a yellow border and make the left half blue. Then a new banner. We're going to put a yellow horizontal on top. Switch to blue die, put a plus shape on it. And then a border around it. Then we'll come place these. So we put these brackets on either side of CSX. And then this down here for the wheels of the boxcar logo. Do the same thing on this side. So the brackets here and here. And then the other banner under each of them. Now come up here, put a white stained glass pane here. Then we're going to come back into a loom here. And we're going to use a black banner and blue dye. Put a border on it, make the bottom half blue. This is for the cab window. So we're going to put one right here. And then one over here, right here. Then we're going to work on the interior. So come inside here. We'll put some frog lights down in the bottom for hidden lighting. Then take smooth stone slabs at the same level of the door here. And we'll fill in this whole floor of the cab. Back here we're going to put two blast furnaces in this gap. A stair on each side for seats. A netherite in the middle with two levers on it. Now the interior is done and we'll come back outside here. Now come up front, put a frog light on each of these item frames. Then come up here. And we need another glow item frame here. And we're going to put one on this top middle with a frog light. Then next to it, we're going to do a birch sign with our number, which is 1544. Same thing on this side. And hit those with a glowing sack. Then we'll come down to the rear end. We're going to put a frog light on each of these glow item frames. Then one glow item frame with a frog light on the center right here. Then a, next to it an oak sign with 1544 on either side. And we're going to hit both of those with blue dye and a glowing sack. Then we're going to open a warp fence gate down here. Then two oak and an oak fence gate on the top. Then I just realized a mistake on the front here. These three blocks need to be yellow concrete, not blue replace the black carpet on top and do the same thing on this side change these three to yellow concrete and replace the carpet on top and there we have it folks we've completed our CSX GP15 locomotive I hope everyone enjoyed this build thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and everyone have a great week stay safe out there rail fans